Bridgerton season 1 star Regé Jean Page is a seriously busy man. Having just starred in the Netflix hit The Grey Man, he will also feature in Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves next year. But the work doesn't stop there. He has recently uploaded a selfie to his Instagram stories featuring a new partnership with watchmaker Longines. Today, we are discussing Page's FaceTime Instagram selfie, so stay right where you are. Let's get straight into it then. What was his selfie all about? Well, Page set the pulses of fans racing recently after he uploaded a FaceTime selfie to his Instagram stories. The actor, who found fame in 2015 on series 10 of British drama Waterloo Road, had his legion of followers hoping he was about to make one or two of their days by granting a FaceTime call. But that wasn't quite what was happening with the post. The Englishman was actually showing off a new watch as part of a sponsorship deal with luxury watchmaker Longines. Page was named the brand's ambassador of elegance last year and decided to show off one of his timepieces with a clever caption, FaceTime, combining both his own face with the watch, which was also in the shot. He continued, thought I'd show my face on the timeline, below the shot, showing he's not afraid of putting in the overtime. <laughs> Sorry. And the 34-year-old thespian is in good company. His The Grey Man co-star Ryan Gosling also had his own ambassadorial role for Tag Heuer, which means both stars will never be short of a shiny timepiece or two. Whilst Paige is obviously making waves on the big screen at the moment, he is obviously cashing in on his newfound popularity and deals like this will ensure he's not short of a couple of quid if the acting roles ever dry up. What did you guys make of Paige's recent watch selfie? Next up, Paige is discussing his Bridgerton character potentially being recast. Stay with us. It seems as though Regé Jean Page is ready to cut all ties with the show that made him, as he has recently revealed he will not be returning to the hit show. In the same breath, Page has also suggested that Netflix and the show's creator should also move on. The actor was recently asked how he would feel if the Duke of Hastings was recast, to which he replied, they're free to do as they like. Shonda and I had a wonderful conversation at the end of season one. We were quite happy with how we'd stuck the landing on that one. I'm still proud of how we stuck the landing on that one. And given the fact that Daphne Bridgerton has now found love, his roles in any further seasons would be much smaller anyway, as each season focuses on a different Bridgerton sibling. Paige was nowhere to be seen in the second season of Bridgerton, which aired earlier this year, and at the time, he said, it's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege to be your Duke, suggesting he would be calling it quits on the show. He went on to say, joining this family, not just on screen, but off screen too. Our incredibly creative and generous cast, crew, outstanding fans, it's all been beyond anything I could have imagined. The love is real and will just keep growing. What do you guys make of Paige's statement? Let us know below. So why did he actually leave Bridgerton? Bridgerton? Stay tuned to find out. Most people simply assumed that Regé Jean Page left Bridgerton to forge ahead with his career and whilst that is true for the most part, one recent rumor has suggested that there might be a little more to it than that. Having recently appeared as the treacherous Denny Carmichael alongside Ryan Gosling and Anna Darmas in The Grey Man, Page has achieved his goal of making it in the movies. But some people have claimed he actually moved on from Bridgerton because he didn't like what the creators had planned for his character in future seasons. Whilst claiming himself that the show felt like a limited series to him, he said, it's a one-season arc. It's going to have a beginning, middle, end. Give us a year. It felt like a limited series. I get to come in, I get to contribute my bit, and then the Bridgerton family rolls on. However, the show's creator, Shonda Rhimes, actually wanted him to return, but also conceded that he's an enormous star now, as I like to say. The idea that we would write reggae to stand around in the background doesn't make any sense at all to me. What would he do is what I like to say. I mean, that makes sense, right? Why is a guy who is now a Hollywood star going to essentially come back to be an extra? Have you guys seen The Grey Man? What did you think? Paige has also gone to bat for Florence Pugh recently. Stay tuned. British actress Florence Pugh recently stepped out in a daring pink Valentino dress which instantly got fans talking. The dress showed off her breasts and nipples, so naturally people decided to take aim at Pugh as they clearly have nothing better to do. Pew rightly had a dig back at men who had called her out, questioning why people were so upset by the size of my boobs and body by sharing pictures of herself in the dress with the long caption. She finished the post by saying, Grow up. Respect people. Respect bodies. Respect all women. Respect humans. Life will get a whole lot easier, I promise. And Pew had an ally in the shape of our man, Regé Jean, who shared her post on his stories, urging men to call out their mates if they see something out of line. He said, Read the caption 
caption, take a look at yourself, fellas. Then take a look at your mates and step up when it's time to step up. When the boys are out of line, have a word. The weird thing about misogyny is men actually listen to other men. So do your bit, cause the next few years in particular are gonna be a really good time to listen. And it takes some responsibility for everyone's sake. Pew also called her male detractors vulgar before warning them that gender equality is your issue too. Well said, Florence. What did you make of Paige and Pew's words? Next up, could Paige be said to be the next 007? Let's discuss. With the former Bridgerton star recently appearing in espionage action thriller The Grey Man, some in the know have suggested that Paige is now now one of the favorites to bag the role. Of course, Daniel Craig's tenure as the Vesper Martini drinking agent is now over and bosses are looking at who could take the franchise forwards, with some suggesting Paige could be the man. The next Bond movie, which will be the 26th in its long and fabled history, is set to begin filming in two years. So it would be a while before the next star is revealed, but it is thought Paige is one of the front runners alongside Superman actor Henry Cavill. Some have suggested that Tom Hardy is also in a pretty handy position odds-wise, but would that then mean the script would simply be full of grunting? Cavill is currently the 3-1 favorite, whilst our man Regajan is second favorite at 7-2 and Hardy as 6-1 shot. It is also thought Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness actor Chiwetel Ejiofor is also well placed at 6-1, whilst Idris Elba is a 10-1 outsider. Other actors thought to be in the running are Aiden Turner, James Norton, and Richard Madden. What do you guys think would make the best James Bond? Let us know below. And finally, some quick fans about the man you might not have known. Stay tuned. While many might not be huge fans of sushi, the same cannot be said of Regajan Page, who apparently loves everything to do with a Japanese dish. When asked recently which foods he finds irresistible, he replied that his favorite foods generally are sushi-based. He went on to explain that if you prepare it properly, it shouldn't really smell at all. But the thing he finds most appealing about the fishy delight is the subtleness and the cleanliness. And oddly, for a person who grew up in England, he also admitted to loving the smell of rain. I mean, having seen more than his fair share of rain as an Englishman, you would think he hated that stuff right now. But that's not quite the case. He said it rains everywhere, but it just rains differently. The smell of rain in London is the smell of people on the bus and wet coats warming up. It's people on the tube, whereas the smell of rain in New York is very multifaceted. And then the smell of rain in California is very different because it's also so rare. What do you make of Paige's revelations? As always, thanks for tuning in today and remember to stop by again next time for some more fun and games. And why not do us a solid by liking and sharing today's video while also subscribing to our channel so as not to miss out on more great content in future. Bye guys!